In this short video, I'm going to show you how to move the header image in for the WordPress 2012 theme above the navigation menu. By default, it falls below the navigation menu. Now to do this, you actually have to edit the PHP file, which, which I generally don't recommend doing for beginners, because if you make a mistake editing that file, it can really throw your entire site out of whack, but it, it's actually really simple to do, and as long as you are very careful about what you cut and where you paste, which I'm going to show you, then it's it's okay. So to do that, you're going to log into your back end. And we're going to go to appearance. Wait a minute. Go to Appearance, Editor, at the bottom, click on that. And then we're going to open up our header.php file. And again, be very careful when you edit this file or any of these PHP files because um, sometimes even one tiny little mistake can throw your entire site out of whack. So if you're working on a really sensitive project or you've gotten a long ways in your project, be very, very careful about doing what I'm about to show you. And the first thing we're going to do is actually copy and paste everything in this file so that we have a complete backup of that on our computer. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to select all, just right click select all, and I'm going to copy and I'm going to open up a text document and just paste that in there so that I have that file on hand in case anything goes wrong. And then you're going to scroll down, and all you're going to do is pull this text from starting here, and select, click and hold, and select all the way to there. Okay, you don't want to get the, the header masthead section right above that line to here, and you're going to right click and cut. And then we're going to go, this says Site Navigation right here. You're going to click above that. I'll just click there. Hit Enter. And I'm, you don't necessarily have to do this, but I'm going to hit Tab twice to get right under this H group text. And then you're going to right click and paste. Now you're going to update the file. And file edited successfully. We don't have to wait for that to load. We're just going to go ahead and go back and take a look at our website. And now we have our header graphic above the navigation menu. Now I'm going to show you one more thing. I'm going to show you how to use, create a simple text logo in Pixlr. And remember, this header image can be a lot smaller than this if you want it to be. And to do that, we're going to go to Pixlr. Dot com, Pixlr Editor, and I'm going to create a new image. And the preset 800 by 600 pixels is fine because we're going to crop that down. Hit OK. And just real quick, I'm going to select the text tool. I'm going to click here. And remember, we're looking at this at 83% right now. And I'm just going to say Urban Decay architecture and I'm gonna change the font to the same one we used in the header image I believe it's this one right here yep I'm gonna change the color I'm gonna make it a light gray because I'm gonna add a shadow to the background or to the to the text okay I'm gonna hit okay then I'm going to come over here and make sure that the text layer is selected. And I'm going to hit this little box that when you hover over it, it says Layer Styles. And as long as the text layer is selected, I'm going to hit Drop Shadow. And then I'm going to click right here, Drop Shadow, to get some options. And I'm going to go ahead and move this down to 2. Just type in 2 there. And it's showing up a little darker than I want it to, so I'm going to lower this opacity which is how much it's uh, showing through to 50. 
if you go all the way down, you can see it just disappears there, but we're going to do 50% opacity. And you can also just type that in there. And I'm going to click OK. And now I'm going to crop this down. I'm going to go ahead and move this so I can see the entire image. I'm going to select the crop tool right there. With the crop tool selected, I'm going to click right out here. It's going to start automatically right there. And I'm going to drag and let go right there. And now I'm going to fine tune it just a little bit by clicking on this blue box and holding and dragging over. And you can go up and down this way. I'm going to do that. And I'm going to do the same over here just a little bit. And when you get it to where you want it, you're just going to hit enter. And it's going to crop that down. And let's go ahead and change this to 100 to see it full sized. Now, I'm going to actually remove the background because I want the background to be the same color as my site's background, which is actually white, but it's it's more about the principle here. Um, you might have a, a different color background or a texture background where your logo is going to go. So to do that, you would want the background of your logo to be transparent. So what we're going to do is click on our background here, which is white by default, and this layer is actually locked. So click on the, the lock there, double click it. And then it's going to bring up the option to uncheck that. And when you uncheck that, this is what you get. And this means this checkered background means that the background is transparent. And this layer is basically off. So when we save this image, it's going to save it with a transparent background as long as you save it as a PNG file. A PNG file is what you always use for transparent images or images that have any transparency in them that you want to, to actually be transparent. So what we're going to do is go to File, Save. We're going to save it as a PNG, transparent, full quality. And we're going to say OK. And we're going to put this, let's just save it to my desktop. OK, and now to change our header image to that one that we just created. You're going to go back to your dashboard appearance and header. And we're going to browse and we're going to pick we're going to go to our, my desktop here. Select your image from your hard drive and then hit upload. And here we're going to say skip cropping and publish because we don't want it to cut this image down at all. We want it to be the full size. So skip cropping, publish image as is. And now if you visit your website, okay, it did not do what I wanted it to do. Let's go ahead and open this file again, browse, upload, and let's go ahead and just drag this over. And then we're going to say skip cropping publish image as is. Sometimes it's funny like that. Now it should work fine. Then we're going to save changes. Now if we go back to our website, you will see that we have our text logo above the navigation menu. Now, just so you, in case you wanted to move this back beneath the navigation menu, you would just go back to your editor, appearance, editor, and we're going to go scroll down to the header.php file. Click on that. Scroll over here. And right here where it says PHP image, get header image, we're going to click all the way to the left of that. Like all the way down to there, and you would cut that and click right there where it says site navigation. This is actually the this whole section is the site navigation. Click at the bottom there and hit enter and tab tab and right click and paste that in. And then I'm going to scroll down and update the file. And then I'm going to look at the website and now it's back beneath our navigation menu. 
for more of these tutorials, stay tuned to WPSculptor.com. And thanks for watching.